President. Yeah. Glad you fellas came. <laughs> Just a little bit more. <laughs> so, yeah. I figured they were waiting on something. The, I just start? I would think so. The uh, first uh, order of uh, business today, Mr. President, is the Mutual Legal Assistance Treaty in Criminal Matters. We have to treat it first and avant tout du uh, dossier. Euh, dans le domaine de l'assistance euh, euh, mutuelle, de, de sécurité dans le domaine légal. The uh, treaty is a very practical manifestation of our mutual desire to improve relations in this uh, very sensitive area. Uh, I think that it will serve Canadian and U.S. law enforcement interests by providing effective means of cooperation in the suppression of international narcotics trafficking and organized crime. And most importantly, I suppose as well, it will help to avoid problems uh, that arise when one country seeks to obtain evidence in important matters uh, in, uh, in criminal cases. We have a common objective, the President and I and our colleagues, in the fight against crime, and now we have a common machinery to pursue that objective. With your permission, uh, colleagues and friends, we will sign that treaty. The second order of business is the Pacific Salmon Treaty. Uh, this treaty was in fact signed on January 28th by the Honorable John Fraser, uh, our Minister of Fisheries from British Columbia, on behalf of Canada and Edward Derwinski for the United States. Today's exchange of instruments of ratification brings to a successful conclusion 15 years of negotiation. Donc, uh, la signature aujourd'hui est important au nom de raison, de raison dont une, c'est le fait que les négociations persistent maintenant depuis uh, une quinzaine d'années. The treaty's most uh, direct beneficiary will be uh, the Pacific uh, salmon industry on both sides, thanks to this cooperative undertaking, endangered salmon stocks, which are so important to our respective West Coasts, will now have a chance to rebuild to their former strengths. Avec uh, votre permission, uh, Monsieur le Président, nous allons maintenant signer uh, ce traité. The third item on our agenda is the agreement of the modernization of the North American Air Defense System. This is a double ceremony. Our defense ministers will sign a memorandum of understanding, and our foreign ministers will sign a diplomatic note that covers the memorandum. Ce document implique deux signatures, la participation du secrétaire pour les affaires extérieures des deux pays, ainsi que nos ministres de Défense nationale. By this agreement, 
Canada and the United States are reinvigorating their partnership in the defense of North America. The agreement provides for a new and improved due line called the North Warning System to be jointly funded. Unlike the due line, however, the part of the North Warning System in Canada will be a Canadian control system. Now, uh, j'invite le ministre à signer les documents. Here we go. Okay, thank you. You wondered what was going to happen there, eh? <laughs> Chers amis, au moment où votre trop bref séjour va prendre fin, vous me permettrez, Monsieur le Président, de vous dire la joie et la fierté que j'ai éprouvée à vous accueillir ici au nom de tous les Canadiens et de toutes les Canadiennes. Notre ou nos pays, dis-je, étaient déjà amis. Ils le sont davantage après les échanges de ces derniers jours qui ont resserré les liens qui nous unissent. The time has come, uh, Mr. President and Nancy, uh, to say au revoir. The people of Canada, and in particular the people of Quebec, are pleased and proud to have had you among us during these past two days. Your presence has added, among other things, some California sunshine to our traditional winter festivities, both in Quebec and Canada. These have been I believe, productive days for our two countries. We have come to an understanding on some of the major issues facing us. We have provided a solid, agreed basis for further discussion and progress by our colleagues until we meet again. We have moved into a new, more constructive phase of our bilateral relationship. Les diverses discussions et séances de travail tenues de, depuis dimanche ont En outre, donner à des ministres de mon gouvernement l'occasion de nouer des rapports personnels avec plusieurs de vos collaborateurs ministériels. Nous avons tous ainsi jeté les bases d'une collaboration qui portera certainement des fruits pour nos deux pays. Nos rencontres ont eu pour résultat d'identifier davantage avec une plus grande précision nos nombreux points de convergence. Elles nous ont également permis de mesurer et de baliser le chemin à parcourir pour atteindre les objectifs que nous nous sommes assignés. You, Mr. President, have put your personal stamp on that relationship, the stamp of openness and decency and integrity and courage. These are the qualities of your presidency in which the people of Canada and the world place so much hope and trust. On behalf of all my colleagues and on behalf of the people of Quebec and of Canada, I wish you and Nancy and every member of your delegation Godspeed, bon voyage, bonne chance, merci et au revoir. Thank you very much. The Citadel of Quebec <clears throat> says so much about Canada and about the relations between our two countries. On this rock once flew the flag of France, and then the flag of Britain, and today the maple leaf flag symbolizes a united Canada. Over two centuries ago, Canadians and Americans battled one another in this city. But the walls surrounding us today were erected later for a war which never came. Canada and the United States put aside suspicion to build not only a lasting and permanent friendship, but a great and productive relationship. Today, the Citadel and other places like it in both our countries 
stand as monuments to a history of peace, goodwill, and cooperation. Earlier today, I suggested that Canada and the United States are forging a new partnership. This afternoon, Prime Minister Mulroney and I have put that new partnership to work. The relationship between our two countries is complex and varied. The agreements we announced this afternoon reflect that variety. We share the world's longest undefended border and the world's longest water boundary. Yet more fundamentally, we share Earth's most bountiful continent. We're responsible for managing and preserving that common environment. We have a long history of cooperating in doing so. I'm personally committed to continuing this proud tradition. I know that our two governments share this commitment. And I know that the issue of acid rain has received a great deal of attention in Canada. Let me simply say cooperation on this issue is possible, and the appointment by the Prime Minister and by me of special envoys is another step forward. So difficult a problem deserves the best talent that our two governments can enlist. For almost three decades, the distant early warning line, known as the Dew Line, has been the northernmost edge of our early warning capability. It's been a vital part of the deterrence system, which protects both our countries from attack, serving as a watchtower for NORAD. The technology of the Dew Line is now almost obsolete, but the need for an early warning line remains. Accordingly, the Prime Minister and I issued an agreement to modernize the North American air defense system. The mutual legal assistance treaty which we signed will facilitate cooperation between Canadian and American law enforcement officials. Protecting the environment, depending, defending our people, and ensuring that justice is done, these are all special roles for government. Economic prosperity, however, requires that the enterprise, work, and investment of the private sector. As each other's largest trading partner, Canada and the United States have long enjoyed profitable economic and commercial ties. And today, Prime Minister Mulroney and I are issuing an important declaration which we expect will facilitate expanded trade. We also exchange the instruments of ratification for a U.S.-Canada Pacific Salmon Treaty. This brings a 15-year-old undertaking to a successful and mutually beneficial conclusion, as you've been told. The treaty will be a boon to our citizens along the Pacific coast. It symbolizes how we're able, with a combination of hard work and high-level attention, to turn an irritant in our relations into a form of cooperation. The poet Rupert Brooke wrote, and high and gray and serene above the morning lay the citadel of Quebec. Is there any city in the world that stands so nobly as Quebec? Nancy and I have deeply appreciated your hospitality. We'll always remember the beauty of your city. Nous garderons toujours un excellent souvenir de notre séjour à Québec et de vous. We will always remember Quebec. We will always remember you. Mila and Brian, we look forward to seeing both of you in the United States next year. You're getting cheap. I'm getting cheap, babe. Eh? Look what I'm getting and look what you're getting. <laughs> there they are, the pens of the salmon. All right. Thank you. Thank you.
Well, what are those guns, Mr. Prime Minister? We're what just learning that we can swing them. <laughs> <laughs> what, what? One of, the, one of them is media reactive. Ah, no. <laughs> well, there's a famous battle here, right? The fort fell, of course. Oh, I see. <laughs> President? Over this way. Monsieur le Président. If you want to speak to the President, you'll have to speak in French. <laughs> right. Running, Jim? We hope so. Can you, can you see? No. Bend the viewfinder down. Speed here, but 